Good morning. How is everybody doing? Again, this side of the room, more spiritual, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You guys, we're going to have to shake things up a little bit. Move you guys around. <laughs> hey, if you're visiting or if you're new, my name's Sam. I'm one of the pastors here. It's good to meet you. So glad to have you guys this morning. Uh, if you are new, I'd encourage you to stop by our new little Get Connected table back there and fill out a Connect card and put it in the tie box so we can connect with you and uh, make sure we can help you plug in. Hey, I'm going to do some announcements. Are you guys excited? Okay, cool. Me, me too. I don't get to do announcements anymore. I miss it. You know, Ryan always does them. Uh, it's fun. Uh, anyways, some things to be aware of. First of all, um, there's this particular day that Christians kind of make a big deal uh, um, once a year, celebrate the resurrection. Have you guys heard of this day before? Yeah? Okay. No. Nope. Easter. Uh, so this is coming up. This is huge, guys. This is, this is so huge. As Christians... Uh, we stop every year, it's so important we stop every year to remember and to worship God because of the resurrection, because it literally is the nucleus of the gospel. Uh, it is so important that our Lord Jesus was the firstborn of many, that he was the first resurrected, meaning he is literally leading this entire fallen, broken universe into a new uh, eternal existence. It's so exciting because he rose uh, we're going to raise with him, which is exciting. We're going to celebrate that on, on Easter Day. We have two gathering times, and the reason is we want you to really to feel like you can totally invite all of your friends and all of your neighbors. Um, this, this really is the time where you can invite people that usually say no. Okay, it just is, like shamelessly. It just, it's the time where if you got a neighbor, you got a friend, you got a family member, and they're like, I don't go to church, and you're like, what about Easter? And they're like, well... I guess I could do that, right? So, and guess what? You bring them, I'll preach the gospel. It's perfect, okay? Um, we're gonna, they're going to hear the gospel. It's great. Uh, so, so bring them. You can bring them at 9. You can bring them at 11. We got two services, two gatherings, so there's plenty of space uh, for us to fill this place. And we're going to have... Um, some brunch and kind of food between gathering times. We really want you guys to cross-pollinate and see everybody and, and not, not miss everybody. So we'll have a, a chance to have some food between the two. Uh, Friday, uh, I'm sorry, did I say something funny? What? What did I do? Cross-pollinate? What's wrong with that? You guys don't like bee analogies? <laughs> cross-pollinate? Is that inappropriate? What? Maybe I shouldn't do announcements ever again. Okay. <laughs> Stick to teaching the word, Sam. Okay. Yeah, we're going to cross pollinate. It's going to be great during brunch. And you're going to like it. Okay. The other thing that's happening, to, uh, you know, two days before Easter is we're going to celebrate the cross of Christ. Uh, and we're going to do that on Friday night here, March 29th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, I don't know if you guys have attended a Good Friday service before, but it's an incredibly important moment to come in the evening and to just take time to reflect on uh, the cross of Christ and what it means and what its, uh, what its implications are. That'll be a time of, of worship and communion and scripture reading, and uh, it'll, just be, it'll be a great time. And kids are just welcome to join us in that service. It's going to be a short service. And kids are welcome to be in here and be wiggly, and that's fine. So that's that's those announcements. Hey, I want to give you guys a save the date uh, too. If you want to pull out your calendars really quick, this is this is really cool. Excited to to put this on your radar. A save the date, May nineteenth, and this is a brand new thing we've never done in Grants Pass before. But it's going to be called Church on the Turf. You're saying, what is church on the turf? Do you guys remember probably like three or four years ago, uh, almost all the churches in Grants Pass would gather up at the river and do a big church service, church in the park. You guys remember that? Like thousand plus people. Well, that kind of took a hiatus for a while because of COVID and things, but now we're bringing it back and we're bringing it back with a vengeance and we're going to do it at the, the um, Grants Pass high school football field. So we're renting the whole football field and instead of church in the park, we're calling it Church on the turf, right? Pretty cool. And so we're going to close down here that morning, and we're all going to migrate over, and we're going to cross-pollinate with all the other churches, um, which is going to be great. We're expecting anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 people coming out to that. And Philippi gets to play a pretty crucial role this year in that. Um, our own Trevor Hanks is going to be leading the worship. Yeah, which is going to be super cool. Uh, our own Mike Moore is doing all the graphics for it. Woo! Cool, yeah. And I get to speak this year, which is super cool. So this is going to be fun, yeah party. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> 
So, so May 19th, that's going to be. And there's another appendage to that event that you guys also might be familiar with called Serve GP. This is another kind of a, a multi-church thing that happens every year. And uh, all the churches get together to serve all of our schools and different nonprofits and do some practical acts of service all over the community the Saturday before that. It's called Serve GP. So literally, if you want to put it in your calendar, May 18th is Serve GP. And May 19th is Church on the Turf. So it's serve and celebrate. What's that? Well, so the church service, I don't know yet. This is just save the date. I don't know. Uh, serve GP, I don't have details yet. Just put it in your calendar. Um, just put it in for all day. Just block the whole day out. Just the whole thing um, for, for now. So 18th, serve GP. 19th, church on the turf. Uh, one, uh, two more things, and then I'll, I'll be done. We did that survey last week, right? Which, first of all, thank you for, for participating. Uh, second of all, I'm sorry for some of the snacks that, that happened. It was our first survey, okay? Uh, but there, there were a few snacks. But even with the snags, we still had 170 people fill it out, which was really cool. And we got some really interesting um, insights, and we were actually really encouraged. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but, like, our biggest goal here is not just to, like, get as many people in here and do a big service as we can. Actually, our goal is for you guys to be part of a church family where you belong and where your gifts are being used and where you're mutually edifying the body. And so one of the most important questions in there we were curious about was, are you connected here? Like, are you part of this church family? And we were so encouraged that, like, over 90, close to, I think, to 95% of you guys were like, yes. And that was really, really encouraging. However... Also super sad because I know that there was like a number of people here that are still like, I just can't, pl I can't plug in. Now it was an anonymous survey and we did that on purpose. So I'm just going to ask you, like, if that's you, if you're having a hard time plugging into this church body, we want to help you out and, and we can help you out. So will you just reach out to the church staff, shoot me an email, shoot Ryan an email through the website or come up and talk to us. And, and we'll try to just help you get more plugged in here. So there's that. One last thing. Some of you guys might be wondering kind of where are we going from here in terms of preaching. We finished the book of Daniel last week, which is exciting. Um, here's what we're going to do. Here's the, here's, we'll have a couple standalone sermons the next few weeks. And then after Easter, we're going to do a six-week series called Ecclesia, which is the Greek word for the church. And basically, the, the tagline for this series is going to be God's design um, and intention for the local church. Okay, so we're going to spend six weeks thinking about God's design and intention for the local church. That'll be a chance to talk a little bit about kind of the culture here that we see uh, God calling us to create in terms of disciple making and church planning and leadership development and all these things. And then after that, for the summer, we're going to be in First Peter. Maybe like First Peter? You have to like it. You have to like First Peter. It's in the Bible. You have to like it. Okay. You're not allowed to not like, no, it's a great book. I've wanted to teach it forever. And then in the fall, we're going to teach, are you ready? Are you, are you excited? We're going to teach Romans. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And it's going to be awesome. And it's going to take a long time. And I'm excited. So, yeah, so Ecclesia, and then in the summer, First Peter, and then in Romans. And today, if you would just open your Bibles up to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, we are so blessed this morning to be led in the word by our very own Dennis Weber. So, Dennis, why don't you come on up? 